ERP for agriculture cooperatives welcome to guidance video on use of ERP deposits term deposits under term deposits we are going to discuss about fixed deposit non cumulative and reinvestment deposits in this video we will discuss term deposit that is non cumulative and reinvestment deposits are one of the important resources of the society deposits are two types namely time and demand deposits term deposit comes under time deposits interest is paid at the intervals chosen by the members now we are in the login page enter user id password date capture and then press or click on login system will show all the icons relating to different services available in the society so let us go to term deposit to do any task in term deposits there should be certain rules or parameters defined apart from the term deposit products hence we are going to configuration menu term deposits which has product definition parameters interest policy and inquiry of the defined products let us start with the product definition in this screen define product details by selecting product name and filling all the mandatory fields then click next to move on to next screen then save the product next we will look into parameters these parameters are related to term deposits these parameters will regulate the behavior of term deposit products in the system after this let us look into interest policy this interest policy will be attached to the product so that when any account is opened then under the term deposit product system will automatically pick up the interest rate relevant to the duration or term of the deposit next time after defining interest policy save so that the data is saved then we are having view product definition this option is used to view the product which is already defined we can update certain fields and click update to save the data next we will try different tasks available in term deposit first one is application that is account opening for a member enter the admission number of the member and select the product name here and enter other details click on view interest policy to check what is the applicable rate of interest for a selected duration of the deposit close it 
and then parameters also can be viewed by clicking view parameters and close it and then go to other tabs by clicking on next button when the finish button is displayed click finish to open the account after opening the application that is account term deposit account transaction need to be made that is funding of the newly opened account as usual admission number is to be entered for the member whom we have opened new term deposit account select the product for which we have opened the account and then other details will be displayed by system enter the admission number and click anywhere on the screen for the entered admission number of the member system fetches the newly opened account data select a voucher type as cash or transfer and the system displays the other information from the account opened like amount etc then click save to save the voucher next we will move on to interest payment this normally used for payment of a fixed deposit periodical interest for a selected member after entering membership this option is used for payment of interest per non cumulative fixed deposit enter admission number click anywhere system displays the member's data then select the product as fixed deposit non cumulative and system will fetch the account number if only one account is there if more than one account is there user has to select from the drop down activity type by default it will be interest payment voucher type we can select as cash or transfer let us select cash now we can see here system has displayed the interest payable on the account for the months from which it is due so in this case it is 3 months so for 3 months it is 375 rupees so click save let us click on interest payment chart this will display all the monthly interest payments that are due on this non cumulative fixed deposit with dates if the amount is paid it will be shown the date on which it is paid under interest paid date else it will be blank let us close this screen and click save to save the data system will display previous transaction on this account click yes to continue or click cancel to come out system will generate the voucher user can print it or just click okay to come out now we will move on to we have view application that is opened account details can be viewed using this option enter admission number click anywhere on the screen select the account number system displays the selected account details like what is the interest amount rate of interest maturity date account open date etc now let us discuss about term foreclosure and term closure term closure is for accounts which have completed the duration of the term 
here also enter the admission number click anywhere on the screen select the product from the product list and if any deposits are available system will display else it will say no deposits exist after maturity now we will try term deposit foreclosure this operation is also similar to closure and enter admission number click anywhere on the screen select the product and if any accounts are available that satisfy the foreclosure condition system will display and the activity type will be by default foreclosure and voucher type need to be selected it can be cash or transfer to the savings account of the customer system displays particulars of the selected deposit like amount interest on this deposit and other details click save to save the details now let us discuss about renewal again this renewal option as the name suggests is only for the deposits which already matured and not closed by the member enter admission number and the system will display all other details select the product name however since for the selected member there are no matured accounts no data is fetched let us come out from this screen and discuss about reports the reports are broadly categorized as other reports common accounting system reports in other reports we have fixed deposit certificate fixed deposit receipt term status details term security details term maturity details term deposit details term interest paid or payable details under common accounting system we have maturity register monthly interest payments term account opened and closed term ledger report we have discussed about uh, fixed deposit non cumulative and all the operations are similar for term deposit cumulative also so far in this video we have discussed about uh, term deposit cumulative or term deposit non cumulative account opening funding interest payment foreclosure closure and reports for support please email to erp@intellectinfo.com thank you